One gotta go. <laughs> Who? Ah, shit. The Rough Riders. Oh, my God. Cash Money Records taking over for the 9-9 in 2000. Oh, shit. Death Row Records. Or No Limit Records. <laughs> oh. One gotta go. For the Rough- time frame? Or just period? One's gotta go, period. Forever. Rough Riders. Oh, my God. Cash Money Records. Death Row Records. No Limit Records. One gotta go. Oh my god. You're killing me, Smalls. <laughs> <laughs> nah, really though. Uh, you know who's staying off top? Who do you think staying off top? I'm, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you. Who, tell who me. do you think would stay off top in my eyes? Out of those four, who who did you say? Come on. I already know who you're gonna say, but no, just I, say it because you're wrong. Death Row Records. You're wrong. <laughs> Off top, Rough Riders. Okay, Rough Riders. Rough Riders is here to as, stay. As a whole, that's why. Right. You know, Death Row had Pac. Right. You know, they had Dre. They had Snoop. They had right. Nate Dog. They had they had a squad, but it wasn't like a so. It wasn't a Rough De- Riders. Squad. Are you trying to say Death Row got to go? Nah, nah. I'm not saying that at all. Because <laughs> they still had Pac. Right, right. <laughs> that means I never would have got Pac. Fuck that shit. Right, right. right. Uh, you know, well, I would have got Pac. I would just had you know. Interscope Records Pac. Right, right. I would have got Death Row Pac. Digital Underground Pac. Yeah, what do you got to do? Uh-oh. Doing the baby. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, so Death Row stays because Pac, obviously. I got to keep it. Rough Rider Pac, stays. So. Rough Rider's still in there. Death Rough Row Rider's stays. Yeah. yeah. So it's out of the... Cash money. It's out of Louisiana. It's out of the Louisiana out of the boot. boys. The yeah. boot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Woo. Man, they had some hits. Right. They had some. They had, they had some cash money records and no limit. They one, both had, one of those got to go. They both had a. They they both had a. They both had a hell of a run. You know. Right. And I'm gonna have to go with the one that I was into more. That's got to go. No, that's the one that's, that's gonna staying? stay. Yeah, the one that I was into more. The one that I was I jammed the fuck out of in them days more. Right. You know, the other one came to be more. <laughs> so now you know where I'm going with this. Right. Right. You know, like lasted longer. But I'm keeping no limit. Oh, so cash, cash money cash records got to go. go. Sorry. So that's sorry, Juvie. Sorry, BG. Sorry, Turk. Sorry, Wayne. Sorry, <laughs> UNLV. You know what I'm saying? He's a bad Big ass Thomas. yellow boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, Manny guys. Fresh. I'm sorry, guys, but that means I wouldn't have got mystical. See murder. Fiend. Shit. Big Ed. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. So they had some, they had some Cain and Abel. <laughs> Okay, okay, so, like, so, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta give, uh, Rough Riders definitely staying for me. Yeah, I, that was my off top too. Right. Yeah. Uh, especially early Rough Riders. Oh, yeah. I caught you uh, off guard. You thought I was gonna say Death Row. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> Cash Money Records, listen, early, early Cash Money Records, the Hot Boys, Oh, they had a, that was a they fucking be on fire. They had they had a hardcore run there, bro. Oh, they did. I don't take nothing you know of that saying? away. I mean, they had a hardcore run, and then I damn uh, the fuck out of that too. It, so yeah. That wave went for a while too. Yeah, it did. Um, it did. They had the whole Rough Riders Cash Money tour that mm-hmm. I wish I would have got to go see. Oh, I was I was too young for it though. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, that probably would have been fire. Uh, it probably been ignorant as shit too, but it would probably fuck been fire. yeah. Um, no Limit Records. I know where you're going with this. I feel like No Limit Records made me. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that's that's who, that was like the first big thing that I had got into. Mm-hmm. You know, so I had listened to rappers here and there, but No Limit Records was like the first like major label that like I just followed everything about everything it. that came out yeah. from there. I was like on top of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Death Row. Of course, does give you Tupac. Yeah. So this is this and is Nate Dog. Smoke weed every day. Who else is on Death Row? Uh, some people you probably didn't know. They had a female. Crooked Eye was Michelle. on there. Oh, okay. You talking about later on when it was just when yeah, it was yeah. just the road? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, they, did, uh, they, yeah. they had the Dog Pound. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they had they had some West Coast legends. <laughs> I believe at one point they had Vanilla Ice. <laughs> did they? Death Row. They yeah. did, huh? Yeah. <laughs> 
she shit. never came out with nothing, right. but they had him. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna have to go in and say Death Row got to yeah, go. I, I, I Death Row got to go, man. Death, yeah, Death Row got to go. Listen, Tupac. Yes, the a pillar in hip hop, but that's not enough. One man. <laughs> no one man should have all that power. <laughs> the one man to rule them all. Right, right. Uh, I don't. I, I don't. I don't feel like he give he gives enough weight to match up to. I respect that. I mean, literally, I don't agree, but I respect that. Rough Riders. Yeah. You had DMX, the Locks. Oh yeah. Drag on Eve. That's about it. <laughs> no, but you had people like Cassidy that came out of that Swiss Beats. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. A lot of shit that came from. There was a lot of other people that came out too under Rough Riders, but those were like your main, the main hard hitters. Right, right. Um, and then you have, I mean, DMX. I mean, come on. You know what I'm saying? D and Wa. Remember from from, oh, yeah. from, from, from Rough Riders. Right, <laughs> right, 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 right. right. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah. But Cash Money, Wa. Damn, shit. I just thought of that. It just popped in my head. That's, that's why I came ba- back to him. That's the East Coast Baby and Slim. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you got Baby and Slim right there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, Cash Money did have a squad too, man. Cash Money, they, they oh, were a full squad. Listen, Hot Boys, Big Timers, that whole early run. Everybody get your roll on. Everybody yeah. get your motherfucking roll on. What? I mean, come on, bro. Like those beats, Manny Fresh was murdering that oh, shit, bro. Yeah. It was like it was like hit after hit after hit after hit after hit. You know what I'm saying? And it, what the funny thing was when Juvenile first came out with High. It, it, it was doing, it did, oh, right, but it wasn't doing, it, he didn't, they didn't really take off until Back That Ass Up came out. Yeah, yeah. When Back That Ass Up came out, everybody, I think a lot of people was like, let, let me go back and listen to this album. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they wanted to check it out again. I was, right. I was on that album from the beginning. See, I, I had listened to it, but I wasn't I really into it. I didn't really oh, I catch had. it. And then one day Back That Ass Up came on and I was like, let me go back and listen to this album, and I realized how fire that album oh, was. That was fire. Yeah. I, if you go look at the history, that album picked up a lot of steam way later. Oh, yeah. It didn't, when it came out, it wasn't, you know, people was kind of fucking with it, it was kind of rocking, but it was it picked up steam later. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then that, I mean, that just spawned everything. You know what I'm saying? The Hot Boys. Uh, yeah. BG. Turk. Wayne. Turk. Turk. Cash Money, man. Cash Money was killing it. Um... And then no limit. I mean, come on, bro. That that's the, you don't even have to. Uh, no limit. Yeah, that's hands down. I don't. You know what song I was listening to the other day? No. Huh. I don't want to be here if I don't gotta. That's an old jam. It's old, a. Yeah. Silk, I was listening to Silk the Shocker Char- yeah. Charge of the Game. Ah, <laughs> Silk the Shocker. Let me told you. I told you. Yeah, man. Um, I guess yeah. you, in a sense, you could say like. How Dolph does his yelling shit at times. Right. It's like, that was, the Sook was the early kind of, Super Shocker. Yeah. So it so started that kind so of. Young Dolph is out here fighting Super Shocker. But he didn't, but the thing is, Silk didn't like, <laughs> he didn't get it down right. Like everybody <laughs> was say, like, oh. this fool yells too much. Yeah. yeah. You know, but he, he didn't have his there rapping. Was, a lot of people, they, they kind of was getting on Silk. They were like, yeah. Cause he couldn't ride the beat well. And all that. I, I was a but fan I, of Silk. I like Silk. I was a fan of Silk. I like Silk. Know, Shaker, but I, I also could see where some people would say some things, but I didn't mind. I liked it. He was different. Yeah. He was still, he was still riding the beat. He was right. still saying the shit. Yeah. I mean, you Fight. got, we had Mystic, Mystical. Mystical. I mean, come man. on, man. Or Mr. Cow, whatever you want to say. Mr. Cow. Mystical. Y'all are mystical. Yeah. Yeah. Real niggas said Mr. Cow. Oh, yeah. Ride or die, nigga. I mean, that was out of that was out of wow. 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 Yeah, no, that's that's the other one. That's the that's the. Uh, you remember that shit? Right, right, right. The World War World War Three. Yeah, 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 that shit yeah. was horrible. Yeah, Rough Riders yeah. getting in. I, I had think I had all those completely. The Rough Rider albums. No, the, all, the, all I think them. the first three were the were. I think after three is when yeah. it kind of started falling. Oh, yeah, but, but I had well, to me that's why I consider all of them. One, right. two, and three. Right, 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 right. Because those were like the ones of our time. The ones that went so fucking hard. They had the rappers that. Were original, right, you know what right. I'm saying? Then they started getting the new age people, which they started on the third one because they had some young dudes that they were putting in there, but it wasn't right. That was like Cass- the Cassidy era, and, the, yeah. and these guys were kind of kind of coming up. Yeah, and- it was a bunch of younger dudes are like, "We're gonna give you right. the new generation of Rough Riders." That was at the end that's of what was it part three. Yeah, that's what they three? did. Yeah, at yeah the they end. had like yeah. a whole little end track yeah. where it was like a whole twenty bunch of dudes dudes. rapping. Yeah. Yeah, that was one of the first times I think I heard Cassidy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I was like, "Who's that? Yeah, he's pretty, he's pretty beast." But by, but also at that point, it's all like, "Is this what it's going to be? Every Rough Rider album? What, what's going to happen no. to the old school?" And it's like, yeah, you know, Rough Riders kind of they apart. kind of disbanded, yeah. you know, because they started they started getting, Eve became very popular. That was a solo she had artist. A TV show. Oh yeah, oh yeah. She started doing movies. Mm-hmm. Uh, Barbershop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she she all those. The yeah. solo. I mean, 
the Let Me Blow Your Mind with Dr. Dre, she became like a big star oh, yeah. in her own little little world. Yeah, her own you bubble right there. Yeah, she had her own little bubble. DMX was was doing his own branching thing off too. Uh, when they first brought the locks on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> with the we are the streets if you hope we wouldn't make it fuck Man. you you know how yeah. happy I was that they picked up the locks because it was like the locks are home that's how I felt like that's what it felt like they're, right? they're now where they needed where to they be from be. the beginning yeah. you know what I'm saying which that's is kind of crazy because I remember there was shit wasn't working it wasn't Diddy didn't want to let him go and there was mm-hmm. a there was a campaign we talked about this uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. way way early in the, like the first couple podcasts yeah. episodes oh, yeah. yeah go back go back and listen to us yes alright go we'll get the whole discussion right you get the whole discussion <laughs> on that man but yeah uh, Death Row was I don't want to say it was before my time because it really wasn't. It was before your time, but probably a little before the time you were paying attention more. Right, 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 right. right. It was, you're still that, a part At of that it. point, it was just, oh, I like Snoop Dogg. I like Dr. Dre. I like whatever. Yeah, you were but everybody at else, I was like, I live by this shit. No. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and, yeah. <laughs> this is a squad. Right. This is this is squad gang. You know what I'm saying? Well, see, I felt like that with other. But it's also, sometimes I feel like some of these choices can be or made differently a little bit slightly because I had an older brother. I have an older brother. Right. And you were the oldest in your family. So right, it's like right. I was exposed to his him seeing the whole vision of Death Row as a squad. Right. So I was that was his. And I was introduced rough riders to that. And so, cash yeah. money and all that. So right, it right. was a part of me also growing right. up because I was Not to say that we it. wasn't a part of it or whatever. Yeah, but but it, it, is, it probably didn't have the same impact on me. Exactly. As it do, did for you. And yeah. it probably wouldn't have had the same impact on you if, if I didn't have, have my older brother. brother. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. That's, that's my point of this. Like, we're going to have some of those slightly different. Right. Choices. It's just a little age that. kind of difference there because you're, you're that, kind of you're yeah. kind of pulling from your brother. Expo- yeah, I was exposed yeah. to shit that you weren't exposed to as much as I was. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, right, Where right. he was telling me the in depth the history of the like death row record label type shit because he was into it like that. Right, 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 the way right. we got into it a little bit later with music, right. but. You know, and it's the same way with the whole eight ball MJG. You know what I'm saying? I picked them, and we're, people. Some people were like, "How'd you pick? Why, Why would you, you pick eight ball MJG over for Outkast? Outkast? Why would you, because I was yeah. exposed to them right. at an early age. You know what I'm saying? Which I was, ex- I was exposed to Outkast also. I knew right. from the early day also, but this has more impact. It's a little bit more impact. The eight ball MJG growing up. You know what I'm saying? Listen to that a little bit more at first. You know what I'm saying? Exposed to them a little bit before Outkast. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's why those those choices are made.